Welcome to Digital Communication Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain Shannon Fano encoding algorithm and how to solve example based on Shannon Fano Shannon Fano encoding. So before we solve example, let us see how we can encode symbols by using Shannon Fano encoding. So to encode that, we need to follow these basic steps. So these are the steps that I'll be going to follow for a solution of example. So first step is the messages are first written in the order of decreasing probability. So first we need to write down all those messages with decreasing order of probability and then divide messages into two most equiprobable subset X and Y and the set X should be given with bit 0 and the message set Y that should be given with bit one and this is what we should keep on repeating till the end and then I'll explain how to write code word from that and then we will be doing this calculation where we will find out what is the efficiency by this formula and efficiency is what h by h bar where h is entropy and that could be calculated by summation of p log of 1 by p i base 2 and h bar that we can calculate by summation of p i n i where p is probability and n is code word length and redundancy is 1 minus efficiency. So these are the steps that I'll be going to follow step by step and I'll explain how to solve this example. So you just note down these steps and these are the important formulas and this is what we will be using in solution of example. So let us begin this session with solution of this example. So see here question is find the code word occurring in the probability of 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 8 for the symbol S1, S2, S3, S4. Find efficiency and redundancy of code. So let us have first step first. So where first we need to arrange symbol with probability in descending order. So here highest probability is 1 by 2 that is there with symbol S1. So let us mention first S1 that is having probability 1 by 2. Second symbol S2 that is having probability 1 by 4. Third symbol S3 that is having probability 1 by 4. And fourth symbol S4 that is even having probability 1 by 4. <coughs> Now, second step is we need to divide this probability in equal to subsets with equal probability. So here equally we can easily divide the reason is S1 that is having half probability and addition of S2, S3, S4 probability. So that is what sorry this is having 1 by 8 probability. S3 is having 1 by 8 and S4 is having 1 by 8 probability. So addition of S2 and S3 and S4, this probability is 1 by 2. So we can divide this into subset. Let us say this is X and this is subset Y. And assign this with bit 0 and assign this bit with bit 1. Now this symbol is already assigned with bit 0. So now we should divide. Now this subset into another sub sub subset with equal probability. So here now we will be dividing this subset with 1 by 4 and these two combination 1 by 4. So if I say this is another subset and that is having bit 0 and this is another subset this two that is having bit 1. So now only these two bits are there. So we can again re-subset these two bits like this is there with bit 0 and this is there with bit 1. So that is how we should define subsets. So again see first we need to di divide this all probability into two subsets with equal probability. If it is not equal then even it is fine but here it is equal so we can easily divide it. 
So here one subset that is x and second is y. y is having three symbols, x is having one symbol. x is having zero bit, y is having one bit. Then this three symbols, again that has been divided into two subsets. So one by four, that is one subset and 1 by 8, 1 by 8, that is one, another subset. And then there are two bits that again we can redefine in subsets with 0 and 1 bit like this. So this is how we can define it. Now we should write down what will be the code word and then I will write down code word length. So code word, code word and length of it. So for S1 code word is 0, we can see that for S2, for S2 code word is 1 0, for S2 code word is 1 0, for S3 code word is 1 1 0, 1 1 0. For S4, code word is 1, 1, 1. So that is how we can write down code word for all symbols. And length of code word for this S1, that is 1. For this S2, that is 2. For S3, that is 3. And for S4, that is 3. So this is how we can have Sen and Feno encoding of symbols. So first we need to write down probability in descending order then divide it into subsets with equal probability with one subset assign bit 0 for second subset assign bit 1 and repeat that procedure till the end. And then assign code as I have mentioned here for S1 it is 0 for S2 it is 1 0 for S3 it is 110 and for S4 it is 111 and code word length that I have mentioned here. Now as I have told for a calculation of efficiency we should have eta is equals to h by h by h cap where h is summation of pi log of 1 by pi base 2. And for h cap, it is summation of pi ni, where ni is what code word length and pi is what probability of code word. So let us solve that. So again, I'll mention that formula. Efficiency. That is h bar h divided by h cap. And where first we will calculate h that is entropy and that is summation pi log of base 2 pi. So here where i varies from 1 to 4 the reason is 4 symbols are there. So let us have this calculation first. So this will be half log of 2 sorry 1 divided by pi so half log of 2 1 divided by half that is 2 plus 1 by 4 log of base 2 1 by 4 that is 4 plus 1 by 8 log of base 2 1 by 8 that is 8 and this is what happening 2 times so into 2 that is how we can have calculation of entropy and if you calculate this see log 2 base 2 that is 1 log 4 base 2 that is 2 and log 8 base 2 that is 3 so this has to be half this is even 2 so 2 by 4 that is half this is 3 by 8 into 2 so means 6 by 8 so that is 3 by 4 so this will be resulting into 1.75 bits per symbol. Now let us have calculation of h cap. 
so h cap that is summation i varies from 1 to 4 the reason is 4 bits are there that is p i n i where n i is code word length so this is what code word length n so this will be half into 1 plus 1 by 4 into 2 plus 1 by 8 into 3 plus 1 by n into 3 so that will be half into 1 plus 1 by 4 into 2 plus 1 by 8 into 3 and that is repeating 2 times so I am multiplying here by 2 and if you calculate this you will be finding it is 1.75 bits per symbol so ultimately we have now h and h bar and both are 1.75 it means entropy is 1.75 divided by 1.75 it means it is 1 means 100 percentage so now redundancy efficiency is 100 percentage and redundancy that is 1 minus efficiency 1 minus 1 so redundancy is 0 so this is how we can identify efficiency and redundancy in next session I'll explain little complex example based on Shannon Fano encoding. So this fundamental will be more clear and you just note down all those steps which I have mentioned. So it will be more easier to you to solve problems. Thank you so much for watching this video. If any question is there, write down in comments. Definitely I'll try to get back to you and based on that I'll place video in future. Thank you so much for watching this video.